Hi, I'm Kristen DePonte, designer and one of the owners of Beadworks by Grassroots Creations. We began our family business 10 years ago, and it really was a grassroots venture. To this day, I'm still in awe of what we're able to create. I want to share our process with you so when you look at our Beadworks creations, you too can fully appreciate what goes into making every piece its own individual work of art. Please enjoy our video. The Beadworks design process begins with our master artisans translating Kristen's artwork into a three-dimensional wireframe. Many elements have to be considered in the framing creation, size, proportion, and particularly construction. The art of bending wire takes years to master. It not only involves great hand strength and constant measurement for proportion, it also requires a true artistic and technical understanding of sculpture. This initial development process can be lengthy and complex. The wire armature of each piece is what defines its individual character and look. Kristen and our development team have been creating pieces together for 10 years. They have taken this art form to a whole new level by mastering their style and technique over time. It is these masters of development that create our extra large art sculptures due to the high level of skill needed to make just one of our exclusive pieces. Once Kristen gives final approval on the sample frame, it is then turned over to the framing master. He proceeds to make an exact copy of the original prototype. The copies will be used as examples for our production and quality control teams. Whenever possible, he makes a jig to assist in bending a section or entire piece of wire, since this is a very unforgiving process. If even one slightly wrong bend is made, the wire piece must be scrapped. Through the masterful freehand skill of our framers and precisely crafted jigs, we are able to assure beadworks pieces are produced over and over in a consistent yet handmade manner. In our effort to make the production process as automated as possible, each piece of each frame is broken down to specific wire gauge and measurement. The wire is then cut to its needed lengths for a sculpture. All of these parts and pieces are then bent to their needed shapes and form, then joined to create a final frame. The completed frames are then sanded and smoothed to be ready for powder coating. This final step in frame making is what allows beadworks to live outside in your garden as well as in your home. Each piece must be individually sprayed with the coating mix and placed in a special oven to bake at extremely high temperatures. Then the frames go through a final quality control process before beading. This step is what gives our pieces consistency and quality. Every beadworks piece uses several different bead and wire sizes and color combinations. Every bead must be strung by hand. Beading the sculpture is a painstaking, intricate and skilled process of weaving, similar to knitting or crochet. While most framers are men, due to the hand strength needed to bend the frames, most production beaders are women. A large amount of dexterity is necessary to complete a piece cleanly and timely, and their often smaller hands can maneuver the complex web of wires and beads more efficiently. A small detailed piece like a minimal can take as long to bead as the same animal in a larger size, so every bead counts. Once beading is complete, the pieces are sent to final assembly for all the finishing touches to be added. Every piece is attended to carefully for its own special finishing needs. This extra touch, while time consuming, is what brings each piece to life. With one more careful check to make sure all the beads are straight, everyone sits and stands properly and tied up in a neat little bow, meticulously making certain that every beadwork sculpture is its own work of art. We can now proudly add the beadworks tag. As in any small family business, Judy Liu, our general manager, is ready to jump in whenever help is needed. Pieces are carefully packed, boxed, and ready to set sail to our warehouse in Florida, where they take a brief rest until it is their turn to be sent off to their new homes.